Du, 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 du. Micro is working. Now it's time to remind myself how to make videos. I only hope that someone is still watching this and I'm not talking to myself, although I am right now talking to myself, but hey, let me break that fourth wall. <laughs> if you are there and now you're watching this video, give me your like so I will know that you are there. And that's so pretty smart way to get some likes. <laughs> So, hello, welcome, my name is Eva and apparently I'm making makeup videos. So let's finish what we started and that was review of Be Perfect and Stacy Marie collaboration. So Carnival Free, Love Tahiti palette and all that stuff. Here's the palette and still there are some shades that I haven't used yet on this channel, yes. So this review still is going on, however, we are going to finish it, finally. <laughs> Let's just make this video. <laughs> Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today another video with Be Perfect and Stacy Marie Carnival number 3. So we are going to test today another shade from Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, this gorgeous, absolutely stunning palette. And there are some shades that we haven't used yet, this whole column. For example, shade khaki, some um, some pinks from this side. This makeup will be pretty colorful and this will be double cut crease. And because I have hooded eyes, that means there will be a lot of tips if you have hooded eyes. So for hooded eyes, wow, I am so talkative right now. <laughs> Besides, I haven't used, uh, of course, red and oranges, so this column and these two blues, but I'm not going to use them today. Reds and blues in the next video because I love this combination. Today also I'm going to use the last Get Wet Cream Highlighter shade Soft Silk. So this very gorgeous gold highlighter that I think it will be a little too dark for me, but I'm going to test it anyway and also I'm going to apply it today with uh, Stacy's technique. If you haven't seen my actually first impression of this technique that was in my last video that I recorded three weeks ago, no matter, but that is in my last video and of course swatches of all collections are in the first video and second and second video I compared Carnival 3 with Carnival XL Pro Palette so if you want to check them out I'm going to also leave those videos in annotation somewhere here also double glazed lip gloss this is lip gloss that we are going to test today so anyway i'm going to zoom you in apply my p louise base and let's just make this double cut crease so testing some shades and double cut crease tutorial for hooded eyes let's go let's do this i'm taking beige shade my single one because in this palette there's no matte base shade and I'm setting my under brow area now I'm taking shade Coco on big pencil brush and I'm applying it in my outer corner only on my upper eyelid I'm tapping and with a little tapping and scratching moves I'm spreading this shade around it's interesting how reddish this shade is it's a little bit different than on brush at least in my opinion I'm taking shade tan lines with this fluffy brush and I'm blending edges of shade cocoa I feel like tan lines has um, a little like pinkish undertones but not like pink pink undertones more like beigey pinkish undertones if you know what I mean like dirty beige I'm going back to this brush that I used for cocoa just to blend those two colors together even more and even better now I'm taking shade ginger with the same fluffy brush and I placing it on the middle 
also above my crease so here oh that's pigment I took too much but that's a very rich and very pretty color and of course I'm blending this color with previous two now I notice that my microphone um, catches my earrings <laughs> so I just take them off I took excessive amount of product on tissue with from this brush and now I'm taking shade khaki and I'm placing this shade next to ginger also above my crease but more in my inner corner and this shade is also absolutely goddamn pigmented and it's gorgeous now to be honest I want to do comparison of this palette and subculture and of course flawless blending between khaki and ginger now I'm taking shade clay which is more yellowish shade and I'm using it to blend shade khaki up to my brow Oh, and this is very nice shade of yellow. To be honest, in palette, it doesn't look as much yellowish, and it's very stunning. Very beautiful shade. Now it's time to cut the crease. I'm going to use white concealer, just I like white concealer for cut crease, and very flat brush. This one is precisely for cut crease. This is from Nabla but I'm sure you can find something similar. I'm taking some on the tip and I'm applying this concealer very close to my lashes. But watch out not to apply this concealer on lashes. Now you need to look up and your brows are going down, so eyes up, brows down, angry face. And here you go, these stamps are placed where your cut crease should be, but this is your minimum. So if you want to see your cut crease on your normal, relaxed, opened eyes, this is where your cut crease should be. You can of course do it higher and mostly I do it little higher. Today we have to do it little higher because this is double cut crease. So actually this line is our first cut crease. So we need to go even higher to make it double. So first I'm just connecting the dots. So I'm doing this first, let's say cut crease. So I can see the shape of this cut crease. And now I'm going to make it bigger. And of course fill this area. If you want to make better transition between your concealer and shadows here, you can gently tap this edge right here so your concealer will blend with eyeshadows but still I'm going to use eyeshadows here anyway to cover this edge but this is great move to just blend this concealer first there you go this concealer is blended in your outer corner more or less <laughs> with eyeshadows so now it's time to do the same on my other eye and of course make them similar to each other and since I have very asymmetrical eyes it will take me a while I don't want to use uh, too much concealer so I don't want to feel this area close to this edge of this cut crease yet I want to do first this double cut crease and then I'm going to feel this blank area that will remain I'm taking shade JJ and this is shade that I'm going to use to double this crease uh, I'm using the same brush, I just cleaned up it uh, from concealer and I'm starting to do just regular cut crease with this shade. So I'm drawing my first cut crease. That means I'm leaving this space, you can see it right now. And then shade JJ all over this place. This is absolutely gorgeous color with some blue shift, blue particles, really stunning. 
Now because I have this double cut crease as blank place, I'm taking shade rum on angled brush and I'm going to fill this area. If you want, you can of course use first rum, then uh, cut this crease again and apply a JJ. I thought this, that filling this place will be just easier for me than to cut this crease again. And maybe I was right because feeling this area is pure pleasure. Now I need to do the same on my other eye. Now I'm going back to shade Coco and I cover this edge. So I'm applying this shade on this shade JJ in my outer corner. I'm taking shade Bloom and this gorgeous pinky shade in my outer corner. Of course here I'm connecting it with upper eyelid. I'm going back to this shade Coco or more to brush that I used for shade Coco. I want to keep this this pink on my lower eyelid only. Besides, of course, this shade JJ. Now shade Hibiscus on the middle part and of course connecting with Bloom. Oh, that's that's very nice and gorgeous color. Oh, ooh, ah! Now shade Bear on my inner part of lower eyelid. Oh, and this is very gorgeous like pastel even shade and last one that will be in my inner corner shade coral inner corner and let's go <laughs> oh yes vibrant gorgeous coral shade absolutely fantastic shade so far i really like it it's absolutely crazy and colorful but hey i like it i hope you like it too and we tested here a lot a lot a lot of shades so now i'm going to apply lashes and clean this mess that i have under my eyes do my face and i'm going to show you this technique this stacy's technique how to apply get wet highlighter because it's absolutely truly amazing and gorgeous technique so i'll be right back after i do my face by the way why no one told me that i said name of this collection and palette wrong all the time it's not carnival it's carnival i mean ugh. like listen english isn't my first language so you know i don't bite I only swallow whole. <laughs> anyway, now I know. So not carnival, but carnival. I I don't even know how I came with this idea, carnival. Let's apply this gorgeous highlighter. So first I'm going to explain to you Stacy's technique and then we are going to apply it. So basically you're doing your base as usually. So I applied my base, I mean primer, I applied my foundation, concealers, powders, I contoured my face with powdery bronzers. I even applied uh, a little blush and uh, so I have a lot of powder on my face right now. And this highlighter is creamy highlighter. So I'm taking damp sponge. This time I'm going to use this little sponge. Cover this um, sponge with this gorgeous highlighter. And now gently applying it on my face. Ooh. And this technique shouldn't move your base. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not talking about the glow because absolutely these highlighters are stunning, but I'm not sure about uh, about the color. I only want to remind to you that I am Fenty 100. So I am very pale. So that means if something looks too dark on me it doesn't mean it will look dark on you i think it is too dark on me 
unfortunately because it has like um, reddish maybe more like tan undertones and these undertones are visible on me here not here but when it doesn't reflect light then this uh, line dark line is very visible so I try next time use it uh, less or a lot less uh, and maybe not here but beneath so somewhere here as more like glow to uh, my bronzers than actually highlighter but it doesn't look very bad it's just it's just too dark that's all I tried to use some powder it shouldn't take off this glow and maybe I will not have so um, obvious lines here also I used too much of this highlighter on my nose it looks better now so maybe I try with you this one this one isn't too dark so it should be fine oh yes so I mixed two shades and I a little cover um, with uh, actually pigmented powder this uh, shade silk where this here soft silk so this one it's absolutely gorgeous but it's too dark on me but I will tell you this again I am Fenty 100 that means I am very pale like piece of paper <laughs> so just you know don't be afraid of this highlighter because I believe it won't be too dark on you. Maybe I took it too much. I'm going to, of course, use it um, somewhere in my next videos. Earrings are back and as my lip gloss, I'm going to use a double glazed lip gloss in shade Starkers. I said I'm going to use this one. <laughs> so this is not a surprise. And on my bare lips, actually almost bare lips, I have a little uh, highlighter here and um, foundation there's so much going on on those eyes that lips can be nude used to such a, a nude lipstick nude lips in general no nude lipsticks and glosses so it's something new to me however I remember times when I loved to make some um, smoky eyes like true gothic um, smoky eyes and uh, even apply concealer on my lips to make them disappear so I'm ju just not used to this kind of lips now but it's a great color and uh, it isn't like color of uh, um, concealer or foundation it's a little bit peachy I think it will look amazing on other on other lipsticks on other nude lipsticks to make them pop on the center for example or to make some kind of ombre lips so yeah I think I I think I like this color in my next video we're going to finish this review so we're going to actually use all shades from carnival <laughs> not carnival carnival um, Tahi love Tahiti pa palette uh, blue and red shades also the last lip gloss and I'm going to choose one or maybe two uh, highlighters and we're going to master this technique with damp sponge yeah that will be in my next video hopefully 2020 is just not plans friendly <laughs> I hope you're going to see each other very soon so um, as always I love you very very much and I see you soon Bye!